Hong Kong is very much part of Parasite's DNA. It couldn't have been anywhere else. It belongs to uh, Hong Kong and that's how we see ourselves. Parasite Today, it's one of the oldest nonprofit independent arts organizations in Hong Kong. Staying true to its history as an artist-run space, but also continuing to develop connections with Hong Kong artists as well as like wider international contexts. It also has this unique ability to respond to different situations, to be in different places, to stage discussions that are relevant for different moments and for different communities. I mean, there are many interesting stories and myths about the Parasite's name. So there was definitely that sense of small but ambitious structure that could work as some sort of a worm in a larger body. But thinking outside of the box, uh, the normal expectations that people have from an art institution. And I think it's as complex as the art scene is at the moment anywhere in the world. So debate happening anywhere else is certainly reflected in the conversations taking place in Hong Kong. Yeah, and also I think we have a very strong commitment to working with um, emerging curators, so especially from the region or people that maybe wouldn't have the chance otherwise to come to Hong Kong and engage with the city. And then alongside that, we also do an open call for emerging curators to have their first major show. This is the street where Parasite was located for most of its existence. So after a few months in Kennedy Town in 1996, uh, it moved uh, on Poyan Street for the first few years at number two, um, and afterwards at number four, where it was located until the move in 2015. It was a very different neighborhood then uh, than it is now. And because this, the space is so small, when we would have openings or other events, there would be huge crowds and then people would be on the street in front of the space. Sometimes police would come because there would be so many people. It was a very sort of like natural decision to leave that environment that came less connected to broader communities and to come here, which is much more of a representation of what Hong Kong is. Art is a really critical tool for looking at different aspects of society, how we relate to one another, how these things are interconnected and really as a means of examining what possible futures are.